Hey, the average Joe here. Yes, my name is Joe. I am a professional engineer and have been part of HVAC Solution Software for the last 22 years. The software is used by designers, engineers, representatives, and manufacturers to create air, hydronic, steam, VRF, plumbing, and control system schematics. So in summary, the software can import load information, such as data and loads from like train trace or elite CHVAC. We then take that load data and can build HVAC system schematics. We complete all the necessary calculations, then select equipment from one of our 60 manufacturers, which are partners in the software. The software automatically creates equipment schedules, and you can place those schedules and schematics in Revit using our Revit add-in. What used to take days and weeks now takes minutes and hours with HVAC Solutions software. So let's look at some of the new features we have and we're releasing at the HR show this month. Here on the screen, you'll see I have an air handler, an airflow diagram, a hydronic chilled water schematic there to the right, and down below a steam system schematic. We're pleased to announce Condair and the software as our latest partner. So we can now design around, select, and schedule many of their products. To see what products they have in the software, I can come over here to our new search feature, the top left hand there, and I can just begin to type in C-O-N-D-A-I-R, Condair, and you'll see all the products in yellow that appear and we have in the software. So obviously, uh, products that you can put in an air handler, a rooftop unit, in ductwork airflow diagrams, and then the steam generators below. Next, I'm going to just double left click on the steam dispersion grid. And you'll see there, once I go into selection of that, that it's, I have the opportunity, it's selected a Condair. To see what it's selected, I can hit selection, and there, it gives me four options on different capacities that I might want to uh, select and, and have as part of my project. I'll just go with the default. We can next come over as well and select on the steam to steam generator. Hit selection and once again hit select and two models appear that, that meet the capacity there. If I zoom in real close, you'll actually see on the system schematic uh, the load which are associated. There's a red load and a in red and then one in blue and that would be what's associated with the different uh, humidification calculations that take place uh, un under different scenarios. Down at the bottom uh, here, and I'll click on it, we have a scenario manager. The scenario manager allows you, as, as the operator of the software, to run different scenarios using different equipment or different load data. Uh, you can run up to 24 different scenarios. As you see, as I click on, I'm, I'm on overview right now, so it's going to show both the, the load data. If I go to winter, it just shows winter conditions uh, within the air schematic. You'll see the, the hydronics all black over there. As I click on summer cooling, you'll see now the loads associated with everything in the summer cooling scenario. And then the economizer will actually show uh, another scenario there. So like I say, you can set up the... 24 different scenarios with different equipment and different uh, load uh, data information. So now let's go in and double left click on the space. The space is where the airflow information was put in. You'll see I have 15,000 CFM and I'm just going to click that to 10,000. And that's in economizer mode. Okay, there, because that's what I'm on down on the tab here. So next I'm going to come over to overview click on that space again, and now I can come in here and just do summer cooling, 10,000, okay, and winter heating, I have 10,000 as well. So now I have new CFM, I'll hit the little thumbs up button at the top and it's gonna just select all the equipment, uh, steam generators, boilers, whatever is allowed to be selected at that time, and when the little uh, hourglass goes away, you'll see We'll go in now, and now I have a new selection of the Condair uh, grid, new dimensions and weights, obviously, and then the steam to steam generator. Here, it's selected the 175, 
dimensions and weights, the electrical information that goes with that. So next, let's look at the equipment schedules that it's created. Uh, to do that, I just need to save my project, okay, and then come in here and file. We'll go to coordination file options, and here I have the ability to create all these different outputs, ASHRAE reports, bill materials, controls, but I just want to come down at this time. We'll look at the equipment schedules in Excel, okay, and then I'm going to save that once again, okay, and then come in here to file, and I'm just going to open up that schedule. Not only are, will we have the Condair uh, grid and steam to steam generator uh, to look at, but everything in the project, uh, air separators, chiller system, we'll go over here to humidifier, uh, keep scrolling over, humidifier, steam to steam, Condair, all the data that's associated with that, then the dispersion grids also associated there. Louvers, obviously, filters, anything else that was associated with that project. So those schedules, this schematic here, now these schematics, uh, with pipe sizing and duct sizing, all that's done automatically as well, can now be put in uh, my Revit project with a Revit add-in and uh, have that as part of uh, my design. So, you know, please stop by our booth at the HR show and reach out to us. If you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, demonstration of, of these new features or any training, uh, reach out as well. Yes, the average Joe can design all types of HVAC systems with HVAC solution. So get started today. Do not delay. Have a great day. Hope to have you join us soon. Thanks.